Hey guys, so today we'll be migrating our source database to our RDS MySQL 1. And to do this, we'll be using DMS. It's actually a very simple uh, service. You only have to grasp and understand its fundamentals. Okay, as for our uh, source database, I actually deployed it in EC2 instance, and I'm going to show you its content and everything you should know. So I'm going to be using the my video DB database let's show the tables and I should show its content Okay, so we'll be migrating this table, its content, and also its schema. As for the user that's going to be used, it's actually my video user. So I'm going to display it right now, okay? And also its host, so mysql.user. Okay, I'm going to be using this one. Um, let's show also its grants, okay? Let's do a show then. Show grants for my video user at. As you can see here, I actually granted all of the privileges. It might be a bad idea, it depends on your uh, objective. Is so don't do that if you don't want to, you know. Mm. Let's now present our RDS, I mean, our destination database. So I'm going to head to it. Okay, I made it publicly accessible because it's so important in our case, okay? So I'm going to connect to it using this uh, client. Mm, it's admin, okay. I'm going to show you that's actually empty. So let's show our tables, okay? There is no. So, so let's go back to our DMS service. Um, as for the latter, there is actually a very important point we have to understand, okay? It's actually the replication instance. You can see as an intermediate between our source and destination databases. Its role is to be head into your source database, bring in content and put it in a town storage, and then afterward, moving it to your database, I mean, your destination database. It's very simple. So let's get started by creating one replication instance. First of all, we have to give it a name. So let's call it my replication instance. Um, as for the instance class, let's choose the t2.micro. Um, as for the VPC, let's choose the default one. I actually only have that one, so okay. We have to make it publicly accessible and create. Okay, guys, now it's available. So now we have to create two endpoints, one for our source database, and the second one is our destination database. So let's do that. Let's give our endpoint a label. So let's call it um, my SRC eight point, okay? For the engine, let's choose MariaDB because I'm using MariaDB for the service name. I have to copy this and pass it here for the port is 3306. For the username, it's my video user and the password, I'm typing it. We can't test it. I mean, we can't test the connection Okay, as you can see, it's successful. So let's create the endpoint. Um, 
And let's create another one for our destination database. So the target endpoint, let's select our DB instance, database one. Uh, okay, as for the password, I'm going to type it. And now let's perform a test. Okay, guys, it's successful also, so let's create the endpoint. Okay, now the next step is actually the creation of a task. So let's create one. Okay, let's give an identifier and call it, for example, my um, data migration. Because actually DMS is, let's say, only for the data. Because as for the schema, we'll be using another tool, okay? We have to select our replication instance, also my source endpoint, the target endpoint. As for the migration tab, let's keep it as it is. Um, okay, let's drop tables on target, even if it's empty. Okay, here, let's choose the limited one because the full one is a, a bit slower. So let's keep it as it is. Enabling the validation is actually a good idea, but it will take uh, some more additional time. So let's keep it as it is, okay? Um, for the table mappings, let's add the rule, okay? So let's choose the schema. And as for the table name, let's uh, type my video table, okay? As for the action, let's keep it as it is because I want to include my table, I mean my video table. Uh, so let's create a task. Okay, guys, the load is completed as you can see here. Let's check out its details and let's see. Okay, the schema name, uh, I mean, our database is actually my video DB. The table is my video table. Uh, we have six rows, okay, so it's good. Okay, now let's check out our destination database to see if there are any changes, okay? As you can see here, there is still no table because we still have to migrate the schema, so let's do it. To do that, I'm going to be using uh, this tool, okay? It's actually very simple. So, so let's create a new project, okay? Let's call it uh, my YouTube project, okay? Uh, we have transactional database, so let's keep it as it is. Uh, for the source database engine, it's actually MySQL. For the target one, it's my SQL 2. So the next step is I have to connect to my source database. So let's connect to it. For the service name, I'm going to bring the public IB of my uh, source data database. For the password, I have to type it. Okay, the connection is successful. Okay, okay. Okay, now let's connect to our destination database. It's actually the same uh, steps, okay? I have also here to bring the server name, so let's do that. This is the connection. Okay, good. Okay. Let's load the schema and convert it. And the next step is actually to apply it to our database, okay? Okay, now let's check out the apply statue. Okay, good. It is success for both the DB and the table. Okay, for now, let's do some other steps, okay? 
So I'm going to update the server info, refresh for the okay, now let's head to our destination database and check out its content or its schema. Okay. I have to select my database here and it's gonna be my video db. Okay. Okay, now we have our table, okay? Let's check out its description. We only have one column, it's actually normal, okay? Let's check out now its uh, content. As you can see here, there is nothing, so let's restart our DMS task. Okay guys, it's actually completed. So let's head to, no, before that we have to check out the rows. As you can see, we have six rows that are loaded. So let's head to our destination uh, content. Okay guys, as you can see, the rows are successfully loaded in our destination database. Actually, it's better to begin with the schema and then the data. Anyways, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you take benefit from this video.